crazy, right? Like, and uh, nobody, and was, nobody it, was ready for that. You know, I was the more, the, yeah, I, when he when he first really started blowing up, um, uh, I, I found it interesting that like he played everybody black, <laughs> like, like. Yo, your man played Thurgood Marshall, James Brown, and Jackie Robinson in five years. You don't get no black. You don't get no blacker than that. (laughs) No blacker than that, dude. And you know, it just. And then you you know you go back and look at this guy, and the, the funny thing is, when you kind of go back and look at stuff you're like he never really was that big hmm. like size wise hmm. and then a few months ago that picture of him came out and everybody was like yo is he all right <laughs> like maybe he sh- you know, like uh, you know the idea was you know he lost a bunch of weight to shoot this movie shoot a movie like maybe he was something he was working on right Did you never you never know with actors, you know what I mean? With the Hollywood types, you never know what's going on with them because yeah, they yeah, always, yeah. they got to be prepared for anything, you know what I mean? Yeah, and they, they get real big and real small for stuff right. and whatever, and you're like, oh, all right, that must be it. That's, I mean, it's, it's, it's the, you, you, you don't want to go right to, oh, he must be sick, you know what yeah. I mean? Especially, especially us, because we, we'll, we'll do that to each other anyway. We, yeah, we wait and, we wait for we wait for a reason some some excuse to take each other down you know what i mean yeah. so yeah, yeah, we, no you don't want to you don't want to go to that right away anyway you know what i'm saying but i want to i want to i want to start this one off right because this is a this is a a special this is this this one is special to me i'm sure okay. it's special to you too you know what i mean um so What's up, guys? Welcome to the Arnell Agenda. I am your host, Lawrence Arnell. Uh, it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you, but uh, here we are. Uh, I had to. I couldn't let this day go past without uh, talking to my people because we, as a nation, as a culture, uh, just lost what we. <laughs> I don't even think we knew this was one of the most dedicated artists creatives and professionals of this generation uh and we we found out the hardest way possible uh rest in peace to the wonderful and talented by all accounts incredible human being uh chad chadwick boseman uh passed away yesterday of uh of colon cancer i could not discuss this without one of my good friends, one of my favorite human beings, uh, and, and I'm bringing in a ringer here. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing in my ringer just so just so it's clear. I don't want anybody to have any doubts about about my recruiting capabilities. My comic <laughs> ringer, my homie, Arson, the voice of reason. How are you, bro? Maintain it, man. Yeah. We uh. It's 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 been a rough several hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh but like I literally just finished I got up this morning and I was like, you know what? I gotta put it on. I just watched Black Panther, you know what I mean? Just Yeah. It's I think I think I think it's gonna be a lot of that going on yeah, over the next of couple that. of days. Um yeah, I, I personally I personally still have to see uh the five bloods. Yeah, yeah, I want to see that too. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, that. I want to see yet. that too. Yeah, see, I was, he was just talking about how much fun it was to watch Spike Lee work. Yeah, I can you know imagine. Man? I can imagine. Um, and so it's just been, yeah, it's been a, it's been a day. It's been it, a day. I um, think that I think one of the reasons why uh, these these recent deaths, uh, we lost we lost Kobe Bryant early this year and I can't even say it without getting choked up you know what I mean Uh, losing Kobe losing a brother like Chadwick uh, for us in our generation it start these things are starting to have a different sort of impact because when we were younger 
losing celebrities, it wasn't like losing a peer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, this, yeah, that's, this brother, that, that's the thing. I mean, we, we're roughly the same age. Uh, black men, artists, creatives. Yeah. When these guys go out like this, it's kind of like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, wait, wait. Do I? Because... Look, dog, I'm not even gonna lie. I got a, I got an appointment with my doctor this Wednesday. Hmm. I like, just, I, I just saw my doctor a couple weeks ago. Cause, yeah, it was, it, it's, it's real. I had it set up for a while, cause it's like, you know, you're in the midst of doing all this, everything else, hmm. and just kind of forget, like, easily. There's, yeah, you, you gotta, you know, make sure that you, you that your health is right. Um, you know, when I turned forty, you know, having the, you know, the benefit of never never having uh been a drinker never smoked never gotten high you know what i mean so i you know i have that sort of benefit right but i got uh i got high blood pressure hmm. yeah you know i mean uh my 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 doctor told me a couple years back that my cholesterol was a little high at the time i've dropped that since hmm. uh okay. and now it's just like a matter of trying to trying to trying to drop some of this extra weight and trying to, you know, trying to be here. Just trying to be here. I look at my dad. Dad is 75. Oh, man. He'll be 75. Actually, be 75 in a couple of weeks. Wow. Uh, and my dad has every disease. <laughs> the dude's got diabetes. Yeah. He's got COPD. He's got uh, glaucoma. He's got... They thought he had cancer in his lungs, oh, but he man. didn't. Okay. Thank God. Um, so your dad's then, a warrior, man. He got all that going yeah. on. He up to 70, 75? Listen, He's a soldier. I got a call. And I, it's, this is actually the, the first, you actually the first uh, non-family that I'm telling this. Wow. I got a call about a month ago. He uh, got a positive COVID test. Oh, snap. Bro, I couldn't, like that day, I was like, this is, that's person. frightening, bro. Yeah, and and I I've talked to him every day. Um and then he got he's gotten two negative tests. He never had any symptoms. Mm. Like which which blows my mind because my dad is like the king of high risk. Right. You Absolutely. Know what I'm yeah. And in my head, like honestly, the the way I worked it out in my head was that like the old diseases in him were like, nah, young boy, we ain't got yeah, time yeah. for you. Yeah, you <laughs> what are you doing going. around here? Yeah. yeah, they were like, what are you doing on this block, young boy? And they kind of just, you know, sent COVID on his way. That's 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 how I think about it for my pop. Wow. You know what I mean? That's the only way it really works in my head. That's... And I'm, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't want, I don't want my kids Have having me. that. Yeah. When that I'm his anxiety, age. having to go through all that yeah. that same sort of experience. The seat now here now. My dad, complete. My dad had my dad had a little bit of everything too. That's why I got a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? Diabetes mm -hmm. and arthritis, and <laughs> asthma and allergies. And all. my dad, my dad passed away from uh, complications, diabetes, lung cancer, and all of that. My dad was the same age as Chadwick Boseman. Jesus. 43 my dad was 43 when he passed away bro I'm 42 Shit. oh my god yeah yeah I didn't realize how young my dad was until I was about 35 I was 35 when I realized my dad was like seven minutes older than I am right now <laughs> and, and he was and he was gone already you know what I'm saying and that that's one of the reasons why I look at a brother like Chadwick and everything that he's accomplished in this yeah in this I mean you we was just saying before we started uh the brother played all of the like he played he couldn't get no blacker than the than the list of characters no. he played <laughs> nah, dude you know what I mean? Like without without even playing an African king, he was already as black as you could get on film. Jackie Robinson. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, James Brown. James, James Brown. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. You know like, what I'm saying? 
there was no you there was no question in this dude no question at this all dude. i don't care what, i per, nothing, I don't, nothing. i'm i'm disappointed he didn't win an oscar uh, not because he did such a great job playing T'Challa, even though he embodied T'Challa, he is T'Challa as far as I'm concerned. But I'm I'm disappointed he didn't win an Oscar because the brother from South Carolina, what do he do yeah. with that accent? Yeah, they, where, no. where? <laughs> he has he has done his he's he's probably King Code Switch. Bro, only cat I met. That code switch better was Dolio. <laughs> Dolio's from Florida. Yo, like if Dolio's up late and got a drink or two in him, it start Florida coming out. Comes out. It... it comes out, man. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, he 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 has his accent like in places. It's like, all right, now I'm gonna take it out here. Right, and I'm gonna put it here, bro. Like Chad. When Chad I when I found art, out dude. when I found out he was from South Carolina. Everything he did became that much better because I don't know nobody from South Carolina. I don't know nobody from south of Baltimore, Maryland that don't sound like they like first generation out of slavery. <laughs> they, they, they all, everybody, anybody, anybody from south of Washington, D.C. sound like they running from Massa. So the, the fact... The fact that he could he he picked up that African dialect and he play all these characters yeah. and when he speaks in public like I, I never would have I did not know until I started reading about him this morning I didn't know the yeah. brother was from South Carolina I was I'm impressed I'm impressed yeah, yeah. and then to find out that he was diagnosed four years ago and you look at the body of work for when did they film Black Panther they came out in 2018 they so it out. had to be you had to start shooting in. 20, early 2017? Early 2017. He got diagnosed, he was in, diagnosed 2016. in 2016. You see how that brother was chopped up? Yeah. Brother was chopped yeah. up. I ain't never been in that kind of shape. Like, I don't... Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fighting and fighting cancer in, in peak physical condition and then dealing with Hollywood sets and them long hours, the, the sheer Fresh amount of... Flat stuff. The and mind you, he was doing chemo and surgeries. Come on, bro. Get the business for that, man. Bruh. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, and like, I, who knew? Who knew we had that amongst our generation? Yeah. Like, you think about celebrities these days and, and the stuff they get themselves into, and then to find out that we, like, we had one with this level of perseverance and dedication. I mean, it, like, we didn't even know we had our own. Like, we had our own Denzel. Like, our parents yeah. had Denzel, and we had our yeah. own. And we didn't even know. Yeah. Didn't even know. Did you see 21 Bridges? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, my homie, yeah. my homie Justin Lamar, uh, uh, shout out to Justin Lamar, a very talented comedian uh, and a decent, decent human being. He was, he had a Facebook post I was reading earlier. He actually worked as a PA on that film. Oh, wow. And he, nice. he had the chance to, to, to come into contact with, with Mr. Bozeman. And he said that he was just such a, he said that he, when he recognized Chadwick, Chadwick looked at him like he recognized Lamar, like, like he recognized Justin. He said, he said he gave me the same nod, like, like he was just as happy to see me as I was to That's see dope. him. Like, yeah, like, dope. like, 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 like I can't dope. believe, I can't even believe we're just learning this much about this guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, it, it goes a long way toward, toward his character because I mean, it, when when you are that dedicated, you don't do what you do for the purpose of acknowledgement. You know, yeah. he's not going around yeah. being a decent human being so that people recognize that he's a decent human right. being. Look how long it took being. us to find out how cool Keanu Reeves was. Like nobody knew Keanu Reeves was. Yeah, exactly, fucking, exactly. <laughs> Saint Keanu. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, it's it, it's 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 been a just the idea uh, of this this year, right? Of the the loss mm. from this year, like I don't, I, I'm I'm not even gonna say I don't 
uh, I'm just gonna just let it ride because right. I don't want it to get any worse than it, anything. Right. Else. Listen. But you know the idea that you know Kobe, John Lewis, and Chad McBoseman are hmm. uh, Chad, Chad McBoseman are all going the same year. It's just like what yeah. the fuck. Right. And you can you can forgive the idea of John Lewis being on because John Lewis had been he was 147 years old. Yeah, right, like, <laughs> you know? fight to fight, like, right. Right. like you know, this was this was the guy that like probably came up with the term civil rights movement. Like, all right, <laughs> you can rest, sir. But you got but you, keep this in mind too, though. He was uh, Chadwick was diagnosed in 2016. You remember how 2016 went out? They was going like that. Celebrities was just dropping yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. We lost. It was yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like the celebrity purge at the end of 2016 yeah. 2016 went out like a lion they was dropping like flies and that was the year he was diagnosed he and he fought for four years you know what i mean it it it, it goes to show i mean first of all you, you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring uh nobody is exempt from you know the natural course of life colon cancer is the it's the second deadliest cancer in the United yeah. States. Something like 53,000 deaths a year. Almost 30,000 men. I can only imagine how many of those are black men. Because yeah. we don't do what the fuck yeah, we're supposed we, to be doing. You know what I mean? Exactly. I didn't mean, I didn't mean, I, I started seeing the numbers and I, I pulled out. Because I got the, I got the 30,000 men and it's probably... 26,000 brothers cuz <laughs> we busy doing yeah. we busy doing this. Doing this shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Cuz we right. cuz we doing this instead of going I I don't want to look bro. I don't want to know if I got no, colon I'm cancer. <laughs> I don't I'm even want to know. I'm, Yo, I made the appointment like the beginning of the month. Yeah. I've been mentally preparing myself yeah. for September. Like, yeah. This is going to happen. Like, Bruh, all right. You want to talk about a cancer that'll take us out? The the stigma we got to get through, all the things we got to get through just to find out we do or yeah. don't have that. How many of yeah. us is on some? Yeah, I don't even want to. Yeah. I don't uh, even okay. want to know. You know what I mean? It, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. He's such. He seemed like such a great guy uh, that we. Uh, we didn't even have the opportunity to find out how great a guy he was. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I know you being a comic fan and uh, I, uh, a Bla I mean, Black Panther being who he is, the iconic African American, I mean, African superhero. Uh, what is, what was your, what was the impact of him playing, seeing Black Panther on the big screen like that for I, somebody I, I, with your I, background? I, I had been, I had been, uh, uh, a Black Panther fan. Um, like, I, I dug the character, and then a few years back, um, they put out a, it was, God, this was 20 years ago. Uh, Marvel put out a version um, that was written by a guy named Christopher Priest. Uh, it's an amazing writer, uh, one of the best of this black guy. Uh, and Priest is the guy that created the Dora Milaje. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, he created the character Ever Bross, and he put this whole sort of spin on uh, Wakanda that was there was a there was a, a, a great comedic sense to everybody else in the book, but to Jala. What they really caught was they really caught in, they really, really caught in the movie that everybody else had a little joke, but he was really like. Like just <laughs> regal. <people> the whole, <laughs> <laughs> way too to regal yeah. out. Um and so that's when I really, really got into the character. Mm -hmm. Um and then uh Reginald Hudlin did a great run. Um and Kanahasi Coates has been doing it uh mm -hmm. since twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. Like right around when the, around when the movie came out. Um and so they've been telling different versions of this character like different writers have been telling different versions of this character and, and you know his stories and his and he, like the, the character gets more and more like like tougher and smarter and so, but i think what priest did which was what, what really 
got me was Priest made you sort of want to know who T'Challa was. Okay. As opposed to always the Black Panther. And so when the movie, uh, when they when they cast the movie, I was like, I was like, when they cast Chadwick Boseman, I was like, really? Really? Of all, so like who? Gonna be, it's going to be everybody? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Whatever. All right, like, because I saw, uh, I saw a little bit of 42. I didn't see the whole thing. Okay. Uh, I feel really good about that. But I liked it. You know, I liked him as an actor. And then when it came out, we did a, uh, Black Tribbles did a screening and we threw this whole party and we had t-shirts made that said Wakande hmm. and it was a thing, <laughs> man. And, uh, and we did it all with, uh, with a mountain comics. It was a thing. Word. And, you know, Cat showed up and they cosplay and it was just magnificent. And I, I watched the movie and I was like, yeah, that's, that's yeah. it. Yeah. That is it. I, I, I still say that, um, the only movie that Marvel has done to that level is Winter Soldier. Okay. To, to the level of Black Panther. Like, those are the, the, the two best movies they've made. Yeah. As now, far as storytelling, yeah. as far as really capturing mm -hmm. something from the, from the, from the book. And, Ch uh, Chadwick was able to take that, take the character and, and get exactly what I wanted from it. Like, mm -hmm that very very regal sense in the midst of all the sort of like a lot of the goofy going on around him right and he was doing a little little jab here and there just, not a lot but just enough and you know watching a lot of the stuff that i've been watching about him over the last you know few hours hmm. some of the stuff that was written for him it felt like it was stuff he would have said <laughs> That Chadwick as a, as a as a person would have been saying, okay. which you wanted to to really get people to realize. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, for me, when you're dealing with uh you know with comic book stuff, it, it, like I said, it, it really does mean a lot to me. I always want from it to get at least a bit of what the character has. Uh, how the character is interpreted in the books. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that maybe only, I think Chris Evans, Captain America, and Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther have done that. Probably the most. Better, yeah. than, better than anybody. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It, um, it really, it's it's really always it. tough. It's always tough with the movie because there's so much history in the comic books. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Especially in a, in a, in an origin story or like the first of the first a series story, yeah. of films it's so hard to get to get the introduction right and all the character development yeah. and a lot of that comes down to the person that you cast to play the role robert downey jr you who yeah. the hell else like who yeah, else exactly. you know yeah. what i mean yeah. chris chris yeah. evans yeah. captain yeah. america who the hell else? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, and and the, the really that's one of the the, the really the, the things that I that I've been telling people about the MCU is that from a casting standpoint, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's done better at um, all. The only from a personal standpoint, I, mm -hmm. I think the only one that's close is Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Yeah, I knew you was going to say Henry Cavill. <laughs> but they grew him in the lab. Yeah, 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 I knew it. Um, yeah. But but every, it, it it felt like they really wanted to make sure that they got the the essence of these characters and put them on screen and and I, I think Chadwick Boseman and honestly I think even more than Robert Downey Jr. I think Chadwick Boseman yeah nailed it even better yeah and the 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 the, the, the sad part from a comic standpoint is that you're not going to see that again right. Like there were so many hopes for Black Panther two and what they were gonna do and how they were gonna tell his story and what, like what direction they were gonna go and to, <clears throat> for that not be possible now that's that yeah. that that hurts. How about that? You know what I mean? That hurts. That? And I, I in my head I'm running through ideas like how could they do it? Like mm -hmm. what could they do? See, um, I I don't know that I want them to do it. I don't think I want them to, I don't think I want them 
fucking with a CGI Chad with yeah, both. No, no, like, no, I don't, don't, do that. don't, I don't do know that if all. I want them to do it. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you, I don't know if they have to move in a direction like, uh, like maybe Shuri, because Shuri was Black Panther for a while, wasn't she? Yeah, and that's that's the only that's the only reasonable direction. It's the only it's thing. The only it's the only thing that makes go. sense. Yeah, that, it's the only that way wouldn't you can go. that wouldn't break people's hearts because yeah, you yeah, tried exactly. some you tried some high yeah, tech shit and it. fucked it no, up. You know. No, that's literally the only way you could go is, you know, you do. Uh, you somehow explain him dying, mm -hmm. and then. I mean, should, uh, we we have we have it. we have the comics to draw from, you know. I mean, because she she was actually Black Panther in the comics, so we had we yeah, have that to draw. We have that to draw had, from. Well, yeah, but he had left. Yeah. The child had retired. Okay. As the black as the as Wakanda's Black Panther, he was still doing his thing in Hell's Kitchen for a while. He took over for Daredevil. Okay. And there was actually a very interesting story. Yeah. But. Um, you you have to if they're going to do it, mm -hmm. you have to do it in a way that acknowledges his memory mm -hmm. and his and the memory of the character, and then passes it on to Shuri because that's the only it's the only it's reasonable the only way. Reasonable you don't re, you, you damn sure don't recast yeah. him. And I I you, like I like Letitia. I think she could I think she could do it. I think she could do it. I, I think, think she, she could do it in a do. way that would honor Chadwick, not just the character of T'Challa, but yeah, I think exactly. that she could do it and honor Chadwick. You know what I mean? Exactly. They had they had fantastic chemistry in the film. Yeah, they were so cute together. They, they were really like brother and sister. Together. They were yeah. really like brother and sister. You know what I'm saying? So I think that would work. I I like I said, Chadwick Boseman is my T'Challa. He's the he's the only T'Challa I acknowledge. That's yeah. that's actually him. Right there, that's not the child. Yeah. That's Chad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but honestly, the the film Black Panther, couple I, he, that wasn't even my favorite portrayal of him as Black Panther. I think he, I think his performance as Black Panther in Civil War was even better. Yo, that's my favorite yeah. one. Yeah, he was cold he in was, Civil War. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was bad, 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 bad boy. You know oh, what I'm saying? Boy. Like the the Black Panther that I that from reading and watching YouTube videos, the Black Panther that I knew, that was that was him in Civil War, going around kicking yeah. ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was, his his whole demeanor in that was just very like I I got let me he, I got he this. seemed even more driven. The character seemed more driven, uh, yeah. trying to avenge his father's death. Yeah, it was just there was so much more drive and motivation in that film, and, it, yeah. and and we didn't have to. I mean, we weren't being introduced to all of Wakanda, and and all of that yeah, lore. It didn't all it, at one time, we we had the opportunity to focus on Black Panther, and I think that that's why it came out so well. So good. So it was good. so good. You know what I mean. But was, uh, as far as the film, as far as the film was concerned, the Black Panther film, I remember when it came out, I was I was hesitant to take my kids. I got two girls, mm -hmm. uh, and I was you know we we've seen comic book movies and so forth. We go see whatever you take your kids to movies, y'all y'all go have fun. Yeah. I was hesitant to take them to see it because I didn't think that they would be interested in Black Panther in general. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, but then I remembered. The Dora Milaje. Yeah. And and it, it went from I don't know if they're gonna like this movie to they need to see these women. <laughs> like Man, they need to see these women. And I did I still hadn't taken into account Shuri. The uh yeah. you know, uh uh the, the genius level intellect that she was in, to portray on, on screen. I just remembered the Dora Milaje and how important it was that my girls see that and that ended up being their favorite part of the film i mean they walked out of the theater talking about them yeah. you know what i mean yeah, they, 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 you know it's funny they uh marvel has said that in the mcu um sure he's the smartest person hmm. like she's smarter than banner she's smarter than tony stark like she's smarter than all of them hmm. 
um, which which is an important thing. You know what I mean? Which which you it's know which really does stand out um, for 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 young girls mm-hmm. like. Um, and they've they've actually done a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Um, like she's the smartest one in the MCU. Um, her character in the books is extraordinarily smart. She had her own book for a minute, mm-hmm. um, and then they they had a uh, Ironheart who was like Tony Stark's protege uh, and uh, Riri, Riri Williams. Yeah. And then the the character Moon Girl actually. The little nine-year-old girl is actually the smartest person in the MCU. In the MCU she's uh, an Inhuman. In all of Marvel. And man. that's her power. Yeah. So she's smarter than like Reed Richards. Wow. Now I was yeah. I, I heard I heard that before. I forget uh who it was I heard reveal that. And the the argument with that was that she was just like created, introduced, and introduced as the smartest character in like the history of Marvel, which was kind of like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. like, don't you have to earn that? <laughs> like Tony well, and everybody the, else the, had to earn that, right? The character of Shuri has been around for a bit. Right. You know what I mean? She had been around before. Not No, uh, not Shuri. I'm talking about Moon Girl. Oh, Moon Girl, yeah. Yeah, like but she was just that, like, like developed and power. introduced. That her power is she's the smartest person in the whole... <laughs> well it, so they had been running through this thing with the Inhumans mm. uh, and the only reason the Inhumans was really getting any pub was because they needed uh, to be able to use another existing organization and they couldn't with the X-Men okay. that's the really the only reason because they couldn't do anything with the X-Men because of the movie rights and all like there was still an X-Men book it out but okay. they weren't, it wasn't really getting any shine so they were trying to, you know, big up the Inhumans a little bit more, and then um, they were introducing all these new Inhumans characters. Mm-hmm. Um, Devil Dinosaur was actually a character uh, that used to hang out with this uh, uh, this sort of this primate being called Moon Boy. Okay. So Moon Boy and Devil Dinosaur were a thing, and they would, you just randomly would show up and get into an adventures and whatever. And then they sort of updated it, like, all right, well, let's do this. We're going to have this girl that's an inhuman. And when the Terrigen Mist, the thing that gives inhumans their powers, it got right. exposed to the whole world. So anybody that had inhuman DNA got, got it. Their power actually. Sort of power. Okay. And this was her her power. That's, you know, the book was, was a lot of fun. And uh, I, you know, we, it sold a ton. And it was one of those things that was like, you know, so I'm looking for something for my kids. Here you go. Okay. You know what I mean? So now, with, with the with a full explanation like that, it's not as it's not quite as offensive <laughs> that that she's just introduced and because it, it yeah. could it could be seen as I'm sure I'm sure it is by a lot of people. I I don't automatically look at things through uh, a social justice warrior lens, but it could be it could be viewed that way. Yeah, it's kind of like sort of pandering, right? Like, as pandering, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, for for somebody who who is who is uh, averse, who is uh, uh, naturally going to look at things in that direction, then I could yeah. see that. And I think the person, yeah. the person I, the person that I heard it from, the person I learned it from, is kind of like is was kind of on that vibe. So I could see, yeah. but hearing hearing the whole yeah. the whole story. It makes yeah, a lot more it, sense. And it's one of those things where you have to really get the whole story. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you know, people are going to gonna feel like that. Yeah, like, oh, absolutely. they're trying to get, absolutely. you know, they're trying to get, you know, Black Girls to buy comics. So yeah. here you go, kind of thing. I but almost it was definitely way more to I it. I almost that. feel like now they have to give, they have to make sure the Black Panther going forward in the MCU. They have to. Yeah. yeah. Like, what else do you, yeah. what else do like, all you could do, other otherwise, all you could do is fuck it up. Yeah. All you could yeah, do, is, it, it, all you could do is fuck it up or abandon it, and you you can't abandon it at this you point. Can't abandon it. You, you know, know what I mean? Uh, Stark, Tony Stark is gone. Black Panther usually was the head of uh, the Avengers after, after Tony. Pretty much, it was him and Cap, and then you know the 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 only guy that could afford it is would be Black Panther. Would be Black Panther. Yeah, you know, you need those Wakandan resources. Yeah. And, you know, you you have to, which, which interestingly enough, in the book now, like, uh, Black Panther is, is 
I think he's the leader. Hmm. And, you know, they're using all of these Wakandan resources from their their new base, which is inside the, the body of a dead celestial, but that's that's hmm. that's a lot. Right. Um and so, you know, that was it was sort of the direction they were going anyway. Mm -hmm. Um that he that he was running things and you know, they weren't at the behest of the, of the United States government anymore or whatever. Mm -hmm. They were just sort of doing their thing with, with all these uh, Wakandan and Stark resources. Okay. So, it, I, I feel like if they... I, you're right. They have to do it. There's, there's, the, there's, there's no other... Like, I, I'm... No, real rap. Real rap. I feel like this is the, this is the move. I feel like it's what Chadwick would want. We yeah. all need to be pushing Marvel to make sure that going forward, that Shuri is the new Black Panther. It's the only thing that makes sense, the creatively, makes sense. artistically, canonically. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. in honor of, in honor of the man who played in the role that we lost, it's the only thing yeah, that makes exactly. sense. Otherwise, otherwise, you're you're you're, you're shitting the bed, and you know, I I, I somewhere. Somewhere there's a guy in Disney talking about recasting, and I'm hoping that guy's getting thrown out of window right now. Like, that's the like, only. Nope. It's it's the only thing that somebody, everybody, listen. This podcast goes live. Everybody need to share this with the Disney, Marvel executives. We all need to be pushing it. Shuri is our Black Panther. Yeah, Shuri yeah, is our Black Panther. She's the Black yeah. Panther that Chadwick would want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. There really is no other choice. Man, my man, yo, bro, I appreciate you, man. This is this is always, <laughs> you know, we we might need to have our own show, bro. This is always more fun than it's supposed what, to be. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I am so down. You let me know. This I will do whatever. Great, you bro. Can do to make it happen. I really do appreciate you, yo. My my resident geek. You, you're the only person that makes me feel like I don't know what I'm talking about when we start talking about comics. I love this shit. This has been my existence for a, a good 35 years. My man. So. My man. Uh, I got you. I wanted, I wanted to talk to you not only due to your expertise in, the area, in, the, in this area, but also because as brothers, I think we all need to be making sure that we're doing everything we can to stay yeah. healthy and be here yeah. for each other. I'm glad yeah. to hear that you are doing what you have to do. You have a doctor appointment set up and you're doing what you're supposed to do. I've, I've seen my doctor recently. I know what I have to do. I think it's important that we push forward the message to our brothers. We check in yep. and we make sure Indeed. we make sure each other's okay and let each other know how important we are to each other. No doubt. Uh, so no doubt. I love speaking you, bro. Which, yeah. Speaking of which. Happy birthday to the great baby black. Yo. <laughs> My he God. He called me last night. He was like, yo, Rand, I missed your birthday. He called me up. We chatted for a little bit. Yo. Uh, we were comparing, like, he was like, oh, well, you got the same birthday as, uh, as DJ Static. I was yeah. like, yeah, and Terminator X. <laughs> Don't you know he got me beat? Oh, Because today is Michael Jackson's birthday. Oh. Yeah. 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 So That's my guy, man. Black. I sent them. I sent them his message. It must have been like two o'clock in the morning. I, I was up all night. I was at work, but I must. I think I sent him his message like two o'clock in the morning. That's my guy. That's my guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he called me. Absolutely. Up, so I gotta call him. Today. Happy birthday to my brother, baby Black. Um, one of one, he, he's one of those guys that does stuff for other people on his birthday. A lot. A like lot. this is birthday, the kind yeah. of guy. This is the kind of guy you need around you. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is a good dude. Yeah, without question. I'm without honored. Question. I'm honored to know you, brothers, man. I really appreciate you helping me out with this. No doubt, man. No um, doubt. We will do this again. Um, you let me know. And I and I thank you uh, to everybody else out there that's watching. Uh, y'all got to take care of each other. Let each other know how much y'all mean to each other. And I catch y'all on the next episode. In the meantime, whatever you do. Do good first. And Wakanda forever. All right? Wakanda forever. Peace. Love you, bro. Love you too, Peace. bro. Be safe.